Um, if this weren't so serious, it would almost be laughable. This is the FBI director. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. He's been in the office for 12 years. So you think he'd learn something by now? Well, it, it, and I wanted to have a discussion about geolocation. And it's one thing to have this metadata that's, uh, you know, what telephone number called what telephone number. But it's another thing to, to be able to triangulate that and be able to tell specifically where somebody was. I wasn't trying to play gotcha. I actually submitted the questions that I was going to ask a week in advance so that he would have time to prepare and be briefed and do all of that. He admitted that he had gotten it, but at, you just most of those questions, some of them were Jim Jordan, who did a fabulous job on the IRS. But I was asking about this. Most of those, the clips you saw were my questions that said, where is this information? Let's have a discussion. And he said, I don't know, I don't know. I, so. Wait, do you think he didn't know, or was he just being a jerk or is he trying to be cagey or he was tired he was sick or I mean, what is i mean it's like i mean you can't be the de you can't be the director of the fbi for 12 years and have gone through a lot of these hearings get the questions in advance and still be so grossly uh, uninformed I, we, there's a football term, and that is he punted. I, I just punted. He, well, you know, look, he has a. He Why has do you a, even show up? I, he has a stellar reputation. He's been there for a long time. But given that reputation, he these are some of the hottest, most intense stories in the in the public that there are. The IRS, Benghazi, the NSA scandal, the the James Rosen situation, and each one of these. I don't know. This is a pattern. It, look, I've seen it from the Attorney General. I've seen it from Secretary Napolitano. I see this from the senior most people in the administration. And there comes a point when you, when you string it all together and you just think, what do these people know? What is equally as concerning is, how can these people not know? I mean, ignorance is not much I mean, of a I, strategy here. I think I could probably read the newspaper and have answered some of those questions. I mean, that's a, you, you know, that's what's sustained. I realize he's leaving, I think, in September. Yeah. He's announced his uh, uh, retirement or resignation. Maybe he's just phoning it in. But, you know, this does involve life or death in many yeah. instances or privacy in other instances. And, it, you know, it's sort of this is a disgraceful, you know, message to the American people that, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to get back to you. I'll check on that one. It's just an indifference that it infuriates people because I think even on the Democrat side, they have some questions where, where the FBI director is saying, I don't know. And, and again, it's, a, it's just a strategy to delay it out. And I told him at the See, end. That's, I think that's almost worse. If it's deliberate yeah. and a strategy, that's almost worse because Congress has an obligation of oversight. And these questions yeah. are not particularly, these questions weren't intimidating or, or, or anything else. They were just asking information about this. Well, at the end of my uh, five minutes to interview, I said, you know, I, I, it's so frustrating because I gave you the questions in advance and I know you won't give me any written answers. And he was gracious enough to say, you know what, why don't you come by and visit me in my office? Now, that's not going to be in the light of day, right? That's not going to be at a hearing, but I, I hope he does follow up on that. I'm looking forward to having that discussion with him. Did, did you get and do you learn anything new today from his testimony that was that was important to the job of oversight? No. No, I mean, he, he doesn't know what's going, again, Jim Jordan did great stuff on the IRS. I was asking about sort of the NSA, the metadata question, didn't get any answers there. Benghazi, again, fuzzy to no answers on well, what's there, going on with know, that nothing investigation. About after the, now, there were FBI agents that went to Benghazi sometime after September 11th, his people. He didn't know what they did? Well, he, he even got the time wrong. When he said, how long did it take to get in there? He said two weeks. The actual answer is 18 days. Maybe that's just a little technicality, but for somebody who's did he know they, At least he knew they'd been there. I well, mean, I guess there's for starters. I mean, but I think that's pathetic, you, though. Chairman uh, Issa asked these questions about how difficult is it to actually go find these people? Have you identified them? And I think as the weeks and months play out, we've got to start asking our questions. Ten months after this, we have not captured or killed somebody involved in the Benghazi uh, terrorist attacks. And that, how can we just stand for that? America needs to wake up. This is a serious thing. We have four dead Americans. I, I think it's disturbing. We have um, the head of the NSA with a statement to um, Senator Wyden in, in March yeah, of this yeah. year, which which I do believe to be untrue, and I think most everybody else does. Mm -hmm. you, have the, uh, you have the Attorney General testifying that he didn't, he had, he didn't know about any potential investigations of journalists yeah. or, or prosecutions or something.
something. That turned out not to be so true. Yeah. Then you've got the head of the FBI today, full of so many I don't knows. I've never, I've never even heard of anything like that. And these are all very important issues to the national security of the country and actually to morale, if this is what our leaders are doing. It's just a, a, a disgust and a disdain for the United States Congress and the process that is the checks and balances in our form of government. And, and I would think that on both sides of the aisle you would have some outrage, but my Democratic colleagues are just kind of just letting it go. I think it's just a matter of time. I hope that some of them stand up and say, you know what, you can't just keep mm -hmm. punting. You can't just, you got to actually answer some questions at some point. Okay.